Hi, my name is Kana Patterson, and I am a member of the Cumberland County Buckaroos 4-H Club. I have been in 4-H for nine years and currently own and raise a herd of 25 ADGA-registered Nigerian dwarf dairy goats with my family. The American Dairy Goat Association is responsible for recording pedigrees of registered animals and providing genetic services such as linear appraisal, milk testing, and shows to its members. While the data recorded from linear appraisal and milk testing is very important to herd owners to select superior females, the data is more so geared to gathering genetic information in daughters to find superior sires. This brings us to the topic of today's video about DNA testing, why it's important for you as breeders and buyers, and why the ADGA is requiring all bucklings born on January 1st, 2024 and later to have DNA on file before you can register progeny. Although it may seem overwhelming, thankfully DNA testing is very easy. The first step is submitting a DNA request through a JOT form found on the ADGA's website. The forms will then be sent to the email address associated with your ADGA account the following business day. Once you have the forms, you can collect DNA samples. While hair, blood, or semen may be used, hair samples are preferred by UC Davis, the lab that runs the DNA testing. Hair samples can technically be collected from anywhere, but according to the ADGA's website, the best sample typically come from the back of the hind leg, above the front knee pad, the guard hairs at the withers, or the top of the rump. Before collecting samples, be sure to clean the area from loose hair, dirt, or other foreign materials. Do not use water or disinfectants, as that could degrade the samples or destroy the DNA entirely. I personally prefer to use tweezers and pluck the hairs out in a quick motion. When you are pulling hairs, it is essential that the root bulb of the hair is intact, as this is where the DNA is contained. Once you've collected 20 to 40 of these hairs, they should be placed in a clean, regular size letter envelope. The envelope should be labeled with the animal's tattoo sequence, date of birth, sex, and their ADGA assigned DNA case ID. This case ID can be found on the sample form here. Once this is finished, attach the envelope to the DNA form and it is ready to be shipped to the lab. Be sure to keep another copy of this form for your own records. It is also recommended, even if you aren't ready to submit DNA samples, to collect and store DNA samples for your own protection. This is especially important if a particular animal you own or sold is DNA excluded, meaning at least one parent was proven to be incorrect and no other possible parents could be found. If this occurs in standard breeds, they can come back into the registry as recorded grades. However, there is no recorded grade program for Nigerian dwarfs, meaning any Nigerian dwarf that is DNA excluded will lose their registration as well as their progeny. Sadly, too many animals have lost their registration due to incorrect parentage. Parentage tests are done by looking at genetic markers called SNPs and seeing if they are or are not a possible offspring of a particular dam or sire. If there is ever a shadow of doubt that an animal may not have the parent you thought they did, be sure to include this information when you request a DNA form so they can test an animal against both possibilities. All in all, DNA testing is very important to the ADGA and us as breeders and buyers to maintain genetic integrity, accuracy of records, and help us make the best decisions we can towards genetic improvement. DNA testing is a very simple but critical part of any breeding program, and thanks to the ADGA's new DNA requirements, will be utilized much more in the future for the betterment of the dairy industry. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this will shed some light on DNA collection and why we do it.